get me the scripture. I think it's John 8, 40, if I'm not sure. You can look it up, some of you on the side. Uh, Jesus said, um, but Cain, who was, or maybe it's not, not that John 8, 40, but Cain, who was of First John, that uh, wicked one, first yeah. John. And I'm not going to have a chapter. That maybe. is Cain, who was of the wicked one. See, Cain, who was of that wicked one. And we are of that wicked one. Well, but Cain was directly from that wicked one. And Cain went out and offered the wrong sacrifice. As we do when we don't have the blood of woman in our hearts. Right, right. But then Abel also was born of that. But Abel offered the right sacrifice. It's a picture of being born again, the second birth. But those two boys, though, without the picture, what caused one to offer the right sacrifice? And one to offer the wrong sacrifice. He was a seed of righteousness, which we become when we're born of the Father of the Holy Ghost. Then we can offer a, a, a sacrifice and an offering right. of. But I'm saying those two boys before the Holy Ghost ever fell. Well, him, Adam, being the father of all flesh, does not that sin pass unto us because he is our father in the flesh? It did. It passed unto Abel. But I think, and uh, well, let's continue to mill this. I uh, going back to. Um, Psalms 58, uh, he said, from the womb, uh, he said, uh, the wicked are estranged from the womb. In other words, what's, what causes a person to be separated or estranged from the womb? They go astray as soon as they're born, speaking lies. Now, everyone that comes from the womb doesn't go astray, speaking lies. Uh, because though they're not saved, even their moral life is different. They, there, there's liars that are in children. They tell a lie. Yes. There's children that don't lie, but they're not saved. They, 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 they're just children born. What is there in that child that uh, tells that lie or that goes in that direction? Um, it, it's a, a wickedness because they don't have they don't have that righteousness and yet from God but yet there's a nature in them that's not given to that evil wickedness that other one is um, so then a good then a good moral man that is born of a natural woman uh, because he is a good moral good man. That means that he's righteous then? And, no, no, it means he's, he just doesn't commit that same sin as the other one does. Uh, they both have to be saved. If that wicked one that is estranged from the womb, separated from the womb, uh, if he tells a lie and he tells it over and over again, somewhere he can be saved if he, he repents of that lie. If God has not foreordained that he be predestinated to be uh, that person that will go on and continue to lie, continue to steal. Okay. Now, that's in the foreknowledge of God. Yeah. We don't know that. You don't know that. I don't. Yeah. Well, I used to read on and, and, and believe that, that uh, when Judas Iscariot was born, that he was born for that purpose, to betray Christ and to sell him for the 30 pieces of silver. And that's why Jesus said, I have chosen all 12 of you, and one of you, one of you is a devil. But when we're not born of the Father, if we're not born again by the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost, we are devils. Are we not? We, we're carnal. Carnal, we're, devil, devilish. The word carnal devilish, means devilish. Yes. Uh, before we're saved, yes. Yes. Yes, all of us are. We're in all in that state. Uh, but there are people that are... They give themselves to evil. They give themselves over to evil. Um, they're known to God. I don't know them. I don't know who God allows to be that nature. Um, I, I can't judge them. I won't judge them. But Judas, as you said, Brother Adolf, he was chosen from the beginning to, to do what he did. Yes. Um, so to fulfill, to fulfill that. So I use that point. Uh, does God then have people that he foreknows will be a devil from the beginning? 
Mm -hmm. And he foreknows. Mm -hmm. Well, we've, we've used the scripture in, in the book of, uh, of uh, uh, Ephesians. Oh, no, where is this? Uh, <clears throat> uh, Jacob, have I loved? Israel, have, I, have, I, have I hated? See, God hates all that is called flesh and produces a better aroma in the nostrils of God. And then we know that it's talking about Israel and the, and the Gentile and the Gentiles. Is, is it not so? Well, the Jacob and Esau were not Gentiles, either one of them. Uh, he, but it is, it is not a picture. I mean, I want you to correct me on that. Um, I, I believe it's a picture, but I believe that he chose, uh, he said, uh, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. Um, why would he not favor Esau? And why did he favor Jacob? Because Jacob was just as big a trickster as a man could be, uh, but yet God loved him. Yes. Um, why did he love him? Because Jacob turned in the right direction and made an altar to the Lord and repented and wrestled with the angel. But Esau sold his birthright. So God hated Esau, or he disliked Esau, he disfavored, he didn't favor Esau, yes. because Esau sold his birthright. That's why he did that. God, I don't think God does anything without uh, knowledge and purpose. God does not just let one turn one way or another turn another way without knowledge or purpose in that. Uh, go ahead. <clears throat> well, um, but I still like that that uh, uh, chapter 1 in, in, in 58, Psalm 58, <coughs> and because, you know, as human beings and, and, and sin under flesh and, and carnal warring against this carnal man and sometimes we'll have that I have that tendency of putting myself in some high plateau and to where I can feel that I'm more righteous and I'm more right than my brother and my sister and look down and do ye indeed speak righteousness O, o, o congregation do ye judge uprightly O ye sons of men and then he goes on to that I think that would be carnal if I would do that or you would do that, Brother Adolf, yes. uh, in looking and, and seeing myself as righteous. That would be self-righteousness. <clears throat> and uh, I may be living a good life, but if I get exalted in my spirit and I say, I'm better than he is, I'm better than she is, I'm above them, I'm more righteous than they are, well, immediately I fall. I fall. And I fall down. And because I, I commit a sin right there, I'm judging unrighteously. I'm having self-righteousness, pre presumptuous, proud flesh. And so immediately, I judge myself. And I want to clarify this as we go. And then Brother Hank had a uh, point here. I do not believe that at any point, because the wicked... Uh, are estranged from the womb. That is a person not doing right. Wickedness is one not doing right, isn't it? And wickedness can have different levels, can it? Uh, it can have different levels. Of, I can be wicked with my tongue when I gossip. I can be wicked if I kill a man. Now that doesn't have the same level of wickedness, but it's still wicked. Um, but, but the wicked go astray from the womb. Now, I don't believe that God is pronouncing judgment on every person that has that bent in them with that carnal nature because we all have carnal natures. We all come from the womb, not perfect, born of man, man that is born of woman, man that is born of woman, that's all of us, is a few days and full of trouble. So we all are under that same... Uh, line of, of uh, birth from man. It's only when we come to Christ that that person that has this habit that seems bent toward evil, that has done more wickedness than the other one has done, on whatever level you put wickedness, that doesn't mean that they're eternally judged or they are going to never have a chance for salvation because God sees not as man sees. Man looks upon the outward appearance. God looks upon the heart. 
And even though this uh, psalm said the wicked are they're they're estranged from the womb, they go forth they go forth speaking lies. I believe that covers all humanity. All humanity. There's not an exception of any child that leaves the womb can go astray and speak a lie. And there's no exception to that because all are carnal, all are sold under sin. Uh, in sin did my mother conceive me. I, and that is, I was born a sinful creation of the sinful creation. I just believe that means that mm. as we go from the womb and we commit wickedness, that comes from that carnal nature that was in us, that's in all men, and we can speak a lie. We may not speak a lie. We may not tell a lie. We may have the nature in us that isn't given to that. Our nature, but it's carnal. Our nature is still carnal. Still has to be saved. Still has to be born again. No matter what degree that we act or react as we're children and we grow up. We still have to be born again. You must be born again. Yes. Except you be born again. What about the okay. scripture, Pastor Paul, that says if you break the list, the very list of the commandments, you're guilty of all of them. 